when the ticks are active um, and seeking uh, a host to be on uh, is when you can catch the disease from the bite of a tick. Uh, most of the time you catch it from being bitten by a little nymph of a, of a tick and uh, that's one of the early stages and they're most active in the summer and the spring. But the adults are also active in the fall and the early spring and even into the winter. Anytime there is uh, temperatures above freezing, uh, there is some risk. The first big reason for the increase is that there is an increased area and number of people that are potentially exposed. Uh, the second one is reporting. There's been quite an interest in having much more accurate reporting. It is a reportable disease here in Massachusetts and relatively few of uh, physicians in the state report all the cases that they potentially see. And as a result of that, um, uh, there, uh, we've had a, an education of physicians to report more cases. A major reason is that the symptoms are fairly nonspecific when it starts. Uh, in Massachusetts, we see about 70% of the cases present with a classic donut-shaped bullseye rash. That still leaves 30% that never get the rash, and so as a result, um, they present with relatively simple flu-like symptoms, which can be mistaken for lots of other things. The other piece that uh, is important is, is that the testing is not 100% accurate. Um, and the test, you can't do a simple test like a strep throat test and say yes or no, you have streptococcal uh, sore throat. Uh, you have to uh, interpret the results of the test in the light of the clinical symptoms. Knowledge about uh, uh, the possibility of becoming infected in the colder months is important for people to recognize. Second is that um, you can do things to prevent Lyme disease both personally and in your environment that will reduce your risk just by knowledge of the behavior of ticks. Ticks don't like open fields. They really are along the edges of properties. Um, and so to the extent that you can uh, clean up the brush in your neighborhood or in the area, you will reduce uh, the chance of being exposed. Um, to, the, to the extent that you can do accurate tick checks in good places when you go out in places where you might be exposed to feeding ticks, um, that's, that's uh, really important.